YouTube, what is up right now? I am talking into the Samsung Note 8, and right now I'm talking into the iPhone 10. Today, we're going to be exploring Central Park with some peeps. We got my mom, and we got my boyfriend, Jonathan. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna compare these cameras. And at some point in this video, I want you guys to guess. So, take some notes. I will say right off the bat, the Note 8 is so cool in terms of temperature. And the iPhone is always pretty darn warm. And then of course this is going to provide a flatter image opposed to the iPhone that's gonna add in some saturation and contrast. A little office update, we've just been building so much building. So we're out here in Central Park. I was scared that all of the leaves would be gone, but it's still stunning. It's just beautiful. There's still a lot of time for the leaves to fall and become yellow. So I'm shooting on a camera right now. You don't know if it's the iPhone or the Samsung. So I want you to vote right now. Which selfie camera is this? And then here's the other camera. You can vote now at the top corner of the screen. Which one is this? Did you vote? Okay, I'll wait. So the first one was the iPhone, and this one is the Note 8. Look at the green. Thank you for participating in my art. You know I have your back. Thanks. You know I have your Thanks. back. Whoa, aggressive. Hey okay. guys. Here we go, guys. See this crevice? I see it. Go I'm over about someone. to parkour, jump it, in 60 frames per second. Here we go. Ready? Get him. Bye. John is the filmographer, the wedding filmographer. Are you transferring into wedding films? I'm trying. I'm kind of nervous though because she keeps taking over. I know. It's like my job. I know. Okay, this is another guessing round. What? phone is this? Guess guys, the top corner of the screen. You got five seconds. Yeah. This is the next phone. What phone is this? Go ahead and guess the top of the screen. If you guess that this one was the iPhone 10. No, no. <laughs> uh, what? Don't, don't. This is the Note 8. How do you know? <laughs> If you guess that this one is the Note 8, you're right. Congratulations. You win a car. Did you buy me a car? Email us down below with your PayPal information. <laughs> and your password. And your address and your social security. Yes. Which one do you think looks better, Jonathan? TBH. Uh, why is the Note so bright right now? I know, I was gonna say. How's the image stabilization? It kind of is it good, I'm running? Is it good, I'm running? Just got back from Central Park, but we somehow ended up at Container Store getting some stuff for our office. Someone like was just at Container Store already, the Chris Hall. So this is low light, I would say it's very dark outside. And these two shots are shot with the rear camera, so we should be getting optimal 4K goodness. How is it looking, John? You guys? Okay. Can you guys see Chris? So this is the iPhone. Low light. Super low light. No illumination from the store. Back at the office. And if you're new around here, hi. My name is Sarah Dici. Rams of Tichi, you could smash that subscribe button if you're new around here. It, things get creative and fun. But I've been rolling around the two phones because honestly, the iPhone and the Samsung Note slash Galaxy are my favorite, I would say, right now out there. I know there's a lot of Google Pixel XL, 2XL fans out there, but after I like address some of the audio issues and the screen is kind of a mess, I think I'm gonna wait until 
until the next iteration to really play around with it. These are the phones I'm stoked for and the cameras that I am stoked for, although the Google Pixel 2 portrait selfie mode is pretty good. I have to give it that. But yeah, we're moving into an office right now. That's why things are crazy. But I'm gonna look at the footage and then I'm gonna have some final thoughts for you guys. Vez. So it is the next day. I have checked out the footage in between the Note 8 and the iPhone 10. I always say the main two reasons why I am so sucked in to the iPhone is not just because I'm a part of the Apple ecosystem, but because of two things. My messages, the ease of answering the messages on all of my devices. Number two is AirDrop. The fact that I can AirDrop to anyone with an iPhone who is close to me, regardless if we have signal or not, you know, via the Bluetooth magic, it's epic. And just transferring a few pictures or videos from my phone to my laptop and vice versa, it's nice. But I will say there is quite a bit of difficulty when it comes to transferring large files. Last night I spent about four hours trying to transfer very large video files, I would say like two to four gigs from my iPhone 10 to my MacBook. I basically plugged a straight into my computer, used image capture, and sometimes it just doesn't like large files. You have to restart the process and it's, it's a whole thing. The process did speed up once I finally found a lightning to USB connector so it could go directly into my computer without any dongles. When it comes to the Note 8, the best part about this is it has removable storage. That means you can put a micro SD in this phone. The problem came in to where I shot the footage and pictures on my phone itself. So when it came to transferring, for some reason I tried to connect this phone to my computer so many different ways, but Android file transfer just didn't work. However, comma, the problem got solved when I realized you can just still put in a micro SD into this phone and then you can go in and actually transfer the files to the micro SD card and then just stick that micro SD card into your computer. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. It splits up your storage in between your phone and the SD card. So if you literally just click on the card, you can see everything that is in here. So what I did to move it onto the SD, you just go to images, I select all of them, went to move, and then I just move it to the SD card. I'm gonna create a folder and say pictures and then boom it is on the SD card and I'm just gonna put it in my computer and that's how I have my file. Now you guys who have used Android phones for a while and you know this idea of expandable storage via the micro SD shuffling files in between each isn't something new and me going through those steps is like, duh, Sarah, duh. But I have a feeling a lot of you guys are familiar with the iPhone, and there are some things on Android like that that's actually pretty useful. And Samsung has made a very clean and understandable UI, so you can see where things are, you can transfer things pretty painlessly. I've been looking a lot at the pictures and video that I've taken with these two phones, and I'm going to share a little bit more insight on the differences and little quirks, but before I get into that, and maybe you specifically watching our super interested in those specifics, I will say this. All phones nowadays shoot great pictures and video. At some point, they're all just kind of gonna level off and be the same. I think we're very close. Now there are a few things that maybe you like slow motion better, so you're gonna go with the iPhone, there's more options for slow-mo. Maybe with the Android phones, with the Samsung phones, you have removable storage that's huge. But a lot of these are starting to look very similar. I love new cameras. I love new technology, but I'm gonna be honest. Can I be honest with you guys for a second? I'm a little sick of phone comparisons, but I always find myself watching them and making them because they are so relevant. Everyone has a phone in their pocket. So these are still very useful, but I will say to the content creators out there, you can get extremely nice cameras, cameras with interchangeable lenses, much more versatility, and just a downright better image for maybe the same price as a phone around the thousand dollar point, or maybe even double that around $2,000. You can get so many clutch cameras. As I'm doing all these phone reviews and actually acquiring more phones, it's almost motivated me more to really take out my nice point and shoots and cameras like my a7s II with interchangeable lenses. The bottom line is you want the best image in a reasonable size for a decent price. For me, when it comes to a phone, it's basically what can be the best possible second shooter when for some reason I don't have my fancy camera on, I can whip that out. So what's the best tool for Instagram stories, for quick clips 
on Twitter, etc. Basically, this little rant is just me saying we should take out our big fancy cameras that are sitting on the shelves maybe more. Or honestly, I feel like this is just me giving advice to me. Okay, let's get back into it. iPhone 10 verse Note 8. The playback experience on the Note 8 is actually a quite lovely one by swiping up or down on the left or right side to adjust brightness and volume. However, a problem with the Note 8 is how they bury some of the most important settings. If you want to shoot slow motion more than 60 frames per second in 1080, you have to turn it on to slow motion mode, which will kick you to 720 at 240 frames per second. But you have to swipe to the right on your Note 8 to access that, and I had no clue that is where that was until I had to Google it. Now the Note 8 does do a good job of switching in between frame rates other than slow motion with the gear notch at the top. Those settings are actually buried in your iPhone settings. Speaking of slow motion, the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 does have more versatility and better options. You can shoot 4K and 60 frames per second on the iPhone 10 and 8 on the Note 8. You can only shoot 60 frames per second at 1080 and then you only have the option of 240 frames per second and 720. You don't even have that 120 option. A huge disappointment when looking at the footage after the fact was the Note 8 has major issues when it comes to either image stabilization or it even looks like there's a little bit of a rolling shutter type effect when you're walking with the phone. Check out the differences of me walking in Central Park. You can tell the iPhone maybe isn't as sharp, but it's handling me walking so much better. The Note 8 is just so wobbly. No one wants the wobble. The iPhone footage is always going to be warmer, but you have that flatter image on the Note 8. If you're wondering how they held up with color grading, the footage at the very beginning with the more side-by-side -side comparisons didn't have any color grading. It's straight from the phone, but more of the montage stuff in Central Park had, had a little bit of my color touch on it. All of this was shot in 4K other than the footage from the Note 8 in 60 frames per second slow-mo. It had to be, uh, you know, 1080, but I just scaled that up. In terms of some of the pictures that I took, all of the pictures look really, really good. They look great. I think it comes down to personal preference. iPhone typically has more of that kind of greenish, more contrasty look, especially when you're shooting things not directly in the sun or when your subjects are backlit. I think the Note 8 colors are more true to real life in those situations. However, I kind of like the iPhone portrait mode pictures better. But again, I think when it comes down to pictures, it's really personal preference because they're both they're both great. I know that was a lot, but hopefully if you are legitimately curious between the iPhone 10 and the Note 8, those really are the flagships of Apple and Samsung. I hope this helped. Bottom line, guys, is just get out there and shoot, document. It's fun stuff. And maybe I should add the disclaimer because all of you conspiracy theorists love to say that YouTubers are secretly paid by Apple or Samsung. I am not paid by either of them. Historically, I have mainly used iPhones, even though there was a time in my life for two years I used a Samsung Galaxy. My needs seem to fit the Apple and iPhone ecosystem. What do you guys think? Do you shoot Samsung? Do you shoot with the Google Pixel? How are you feeling about the iPhone 10? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. Tech, creativity, vlogs, New York City. I got a little bit of everything here. So let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye!